Hey guys, this here is my cousin's puppy. Her name is Penny and she is a Cavoodle. Today she's going to be helping me out by styling and decorating a miniature kitchen. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to notified every time I upload a new video. What I'll be doing is I'll be placing two accessory items or two furniture items side by side. I'll be adding some dog treats in front of each item and the first item Penny goes towards will be the item featured in the room. So she'll be completely decorating and styling the entire room. So it'll be so interesting to see what it looks like at the end. And as you can see, Penny is such a playful and energetic puppy and she is always on the go. So all I need to do is set up some of the accessories and items so she's able to design the room. Here we have the first two food accessory sets and each set comes with a rolling pin, there is some dough, a pan, and some cookies as well. Except one set is themed at holiday season and there is gingerbread cookies while the other one is more of a classic set and it features chocolate chip cookies so it'll be really interesting to see which one Penny ends up choosing. I have set everything up for Penny and now she is just walking towards the different accessories and she is trying to find the treat right now and it seems like she has found the treat for the holiday set so that's the item that we featured in the kitchen. The holiday season is coming very soon so that's definitely a great choice. And to continue along with the holiday and classic theme, here we have two aprons. So the floral apron actually came with the kitchen set and it has a lovely floral design on the front. And as for the red apron, it's a holiday theme apron and it came with the gingerbread cookies that I showed earlier. I don't mind at all which apron Penny ends up choosing because the floral apron suits the kitchen itself while the red holiday theme apron suits the gingerbread cookie she picked earlier. All of the items have been set up and I placed the treats down and Penny is eating the treat from the floral apron so that's the one that will be featured in the room. I think that's definitely a great choice and it suits the kitchen perfectly as well. And in the kitchen setup, I'll be adding a dining table towards the front of the room and I'll just be placing a lunchbox towards the side of that. So there is a total of two different options here. The first lunchbox is themed to Pac-Man while the second lunchbox has a floral design on it. I don't mind which lunchbox Penny ends up choosing because the Pac-Man design is so awesome on the front of that lunchbox, but the dining chairs have a floral theme to that, so I think that lunchbox will suit the rest of the room as well. So let's see which one she chooses. And here we have the two lunchbox options, and I've added the treats to both items, and Penny is eating the treat from the Pac-Man lunchbox, so that's the item that will be featured in the room. And as for the dining table itself, I'll be featuring a food set on top of it. There's a total of two different options. The first option is the spaghetti dinner set, and that has spaghetti with garlic bread, and there's also some cheese and salad. And as for the other set, it is the Chinese takeout set that features a variety of different items, including some fortune cookies as well. Penny is just about to choose a food set, and she has picked the Chinese takeout set. That's a really great option, so I'll add that to the dining table in the kitchen room setup. And these two items here are both kitchen accessory items and they are stand mixers. The first one is a light green color and there's also some gold to it as well. And the second mixer is orange and that has some silver to it. And I've added the treats next to both stand mixers and I really hope she chooses the green one and she ended up choosing the green one which I'm so happy about because that actually matches the kitchen set that will be featured in the kitchen. So I'll go ahead and add that to the room. Some of the most common items that you see in a kitchen pantry is flour and sugar and we have a total of two container sets here. So the first container set is clear so you're able to see the powder inside and as for the second set, the containers are pink and blue. I really don't mind which container set Penny ends up choosing but I hope she goes for the pink and blue container set. I have added the treats next to both container sets and Penny ended up choosing the clear containers and that's perfectly fine, they'll go wonderful with the rest of the items she ended up choosing. And here we have the last two items for Penny to choose between, and they are both mixing bowls. Mixing bowl one is slightly larger than the second mixing bowl. I have added the treats next to both items, so all Penny needs to do is head towards one of the treats, and she ended up choosing mixing bowl one, so now it's time to organize all the accessories that she ended up choosing so we can set up the kitchen set itself. Penny ended up doing such a wonderful job in choosing all the different accessories and items, so now all I need to do is style everything together so it looks like a completed kitchen. And all Penny is doing right now is playing a game of fetch as that's one of her favorite games. And this here is the miniature kitchen I'll be using for the setup. And what I love about the kitchen set is that it comes in two different pieces so you can choose to have the items in front of each other or side by side. I'll be placing them side by side so we can add the dining table set towards the front. The first part of the kitchen set we will be styling is the island and this here is the holiday cookie set that Penny chose and I'm just adding in the rolling pin, the pan and also the dough as well. I'm adding the cookies on top of the dough and we also have some cookie cutters as well. And I'll be placing those down towards the other side of the island but all I've done is added in the stand mixer as well that Penny chose and that definitely suits the whole theme of the kitchen. 
Penny also ended up choosing a mixing bowl and I'll just be placing that in the sink towards the middle there and I'm just opening up this side compartment so we can add in the cutlery and there's quite a few to add in but everything should be able to fit in perfectly. And what's great about this island is that there's a lot of compartments for storage so I'm just going to add a few kitchen essential items. So first off we have a fry pan and then we have this container of pancake mix and that's definitely a lovely breakfast option. And the final item I'll be adding in are some plates and there's a total of two. And all I need to do is close the door shut. Now it is time to set up the other side of the kitchen and I'll just be organizing the pantry items. So this compartment towards the top here will be perfect for the flour and sugar containers. And it's really great how there's a door there so you can choose to have it opened or closed. And on the other side of the kitchen there's a small shelf so all I'm doing right now is adding in some salt, pepper, and also some cinnamon and paprika too. And it's really great how all of the different items are labeled so you know exactly what they're meant to be. There are some hooks on top of the stove so you're able to add in some cooking utensils. So here we have some measuring spoons and a whisk as well and I'll be adding some items on the stove itself. So right at the front we have a kettle and that matches the stand mixer and then there's a pot towards the back and I'll be adding in a wooden spoon. Now it's time to style the fridge by adding in a few items. So this compartment at the bottom will be perfect for the salad and there are a few shelving units on the fridge door. So I'll be adding in the ranch dressing and the milk towards the other side too. I won't be filling up the entire fridge today. I'll just be adding in a few more items. So here we have a carton of eggs and we also have some bacon too. And just before we add a few items to the freezer, I'm going to be displaying the apron towards the side of the kitchen and there is a small attachment so I'm able to do that. And this here is the apron that Penny ended up choosing and it has such a pretty floral design on it. And I'll be adding in a few food items to the oven and the freezer. For the oven, I'll be adding in a lemon meringue pie so all I need to do is close the oven door and as for the freezer, I have some ice pops here and there are a total of four different flavors. And it's really great because the ice pops come with the stand so they won't fall over in the freezer. And just in front of the kitchen, I've added in a dining table set. So we have the table itself and the chairs. The chairs are a gorgeous teal green color and I love how it matches the table too. And all I'm doing right now is adding the food set that Penny picked earlier. So she had a choice between the spaghetti dinner set or the Chinese takeout set and she ended up choosing the Chinese takeout set, which is definitely a really great choice. I have already placed the food down and the chopsticks as well. And all I'm doing right now is adding in the cans of sparkling water and also the fortune cookies too. Another accessory item that Penny ended up choosing was a lunchbox set and this here is the Pac-Man lunchbox. It has food inside, it's all packed and ready to go and we also have a small little accessory to match the lunchbox set too. The kitchen set has been officially set up and styled and I'm so happy with how it turned out. All of the accessories work together perfectly and Penny did such a wonderful job in decorating the room. I love how the kitchen set itself is towards the back of the room while the dining table sits at the front. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.